Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Ananya Shetty and welcome back to my channel to help you create the life that you want and to become the best version of yourself. So if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Today, I'm going to talk about minimalism for beginners. Minimalism is not about eliminating all your stuffs. It's identifying what brings absolute joy and then eliminating stuffs that no longer add value to your life. This COVID-19 situation has given all of us a crash course on living with the things that you absolutely need and not want. So if you're someone who is struggling with minimalism and want to make it part of your life, then this video is for you. The first step towards minimalism is knowing your why. Find out why is that you want to make minimalism a way of your life. For me, it's peace of mind and I also think it's easier on my pocket. For you, anything could be the reason. It could be your health, you want to travel the world, you want to pay off your debt or it could be as simple as you want to create a space that you absolutely love. The moment you find the answers for all the questions like what, why, when, how, you're good to go. Take baby steps. This rule holds good for any change that you want to bring in your life. I'm not a hoarder myself. I'm somebody who is practicing minimalism, a work in progress, ever since minimalism was a global concept. But I also understand that it's not easy for somebody who is a classic hoarder. My mom is a classic example of a hoarder. She might kill me when she finds out me sharing this story, but never mind. So when I was in school, she has this thing of collecting all the caps from the paste which is emptied. So she would hoard and collect it, telling she might we might need it for any of my projects and things like that. Now that I've grown up and I have a son who's, who'd probably go to school next year and she still has all of them intact. The point I'm trying to say here is it could be very overwhelming for people who are hoarder by nature to straight away get into minimalism. So taking baby steps are very, very important. Make it part of your everyday routine. Pick an area in the house that could be as simple as a shelf or a side table and start working on it. You could dedicate 10 to 15 minutes every single day and make sure you touch the area that bothers you the most. Also, keep the journal to document the progress. If you don't know where to start, pick the stuff up and ask yourself a golden question. Does this thing bring me joy? If the answer is yes, keep it or just drop it. Intentional buying. We all live in the world where it's easier than ever now to hold stuffs and most of us have done a very good job at it. So when we, whenever we are going to buy a new stuff, you can ask yourself this question. Do I have a designated space for it? If the answer is no, you know what to do. And if the answer is yes, let's move on to another question, which is, do I have anything else in the house which does the similar job? Then if the answer is no, you can go ahead and buy. And also remember, always choose quality over quantity because in the long run, it will save you a lot of your time, money and energy. Discard the damage and the duplicates. Look for the duplicates in the house and put them all in a box and keep it aside for a month or two. During the process, if you don't go back to any of the stuffs or if you kind of forget what's in the box, I think it's a clear deal. Either donate or discard. Travel light. Well, the year 2020 is not for traveling, but any time later in life when you travel, instead of carrying everything in duplicates, imagining emergencies and thinking about what if I needed moments, Pack the stuff that you really require and you will realize that you not just survive but also feel good about packing lesser stuff. And my final tip is do what works best for you. Minimalism is a way of life and it's a choice you make for yourself. You don't have to fret around thinking what are the experts on this field saying and if you are following it or not. You don't even have to worry about if you are living in a tiny house or a caravan or traveling the world with a tiny backpack. You don't worry about how many stuffs you own or not. It really doesn't matter if people call you a minimalist or not. Don't compare your journey with others. Walk your own path, do your own thing. It is your life and it's totally your choice. So guys, you know the drill. Like, share and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section your thoughts. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.